Okay, folks, let's have a look at some combination plans where it's really a base salary plus a little commission. Some of the advantages of that is, say you've got a new person who hasn't got a lot of experience selling, at least it gives them what we call an earnings floor. So the earnings floor is the base. So at least they know exactly what they're going to be getting. So it, it, it encourages them to take a little bit of risk, go out of their comfort zone maybe a little bit, and try and sell more, okay, and try and sell knowing that they're still going to have that safety net or that little base pay. It allows compensation for administrative work. So in other words, people know that they need to do a good job of things other than sales if they're going to continue to earn their base pay. So it does compensate them for maybe doing paperwork and things like that in the office. Uh, some of the disadvantages is that it may be a compromise uh, in that um, sometimes people um, might not feel, uh, they might feel that they maybe want to go on a straight commission or they may feel that they want to do uh, more of a base pay. So they might not be happy with the level of base pay in, 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 um, in comparison to commission. So say for example, uh, you get in hired by an insurance company and they say we're going to give you $20,000 base and then you'll have to get the rest of your salary through commission. Well, they might turn around and say, well, gee, I don't know if I could load on a $20,000 base. Could I get a higher base? Maybe no. And if you did take a higher base, you'd get much less commission. So again, it might be hard to compromise between the base pay and the commission with a company because they really want you to be out there selling, right? Sometimes it's not as easy to calculate either. They might put you in a commission structure um, such that you might not, it might be a little more challenging to calculate exactly what your take-home pay is going to be. So there are some disadvantages to to a base plus a commission structure, but it is an option for a lot of people who are newer at selling. Um, let's go to the next slide and look at sales compensation in an e-commerce or a more technology-based era. Salespeople are encouraged to strengthen the relationship with customers, so what's going to happen, of course, is that sometimes face-to-face -face sales are going to be reserved more for customers that put more business uh, with you, right? So we might say, well, we're going to make sure that our face-to-face -face time is spent with the customers who are giving us the most sales, right? Um, for all customers, we're going to try and focus, obviously, on selling to some extent online and, and making sure they can place orders online, all right? Uh, but we want to make sure that we support them when we're uh, maybe changing our systems and maybe trying to get them to go more that way and, and, and order online as opposed to seeing a sales rep. Okay, so again, um, uh, we want to support our customers, all customers in a technology-based environment, but we want to make sure that we get customers ordering online and support them through that, especially if they've been used to seeing a sales rep all the time. If we're not going to be uh, meeting with them as frequently as we used to, we want to make sure they're supported through an online system. And also there's been a movement toward team-based uh, sales results. So we said in the previous slide that we weren't using a lot of um, team-based compensation uh, as, uh, as uh, uh, part of our pay for performance, but there is a movement toward it. So again, maybe two or three people might get together in, in, uh, in a sales area and combine their talents in order to sell and then split the commissions amongst themselves, right? So again, sometimes if we get three people together uh, who are selling, uh, instead of each person doing their own, sometimes it can produce better rewards, right? It's just like doing a project. If you're doing a project by yourself, it might be a lot harder and a lot longer to do. But if you're doing it with two or three people that you know and that you trust, you split the load and it could be easier and you get better results, right? So that kind of thing. Um, there are other incentive plans that we have, so we're going to spend a little bit of time looking at other incentives and then some organization-wide incentives in the next video.